Tonight is opening night of the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular over at Roger Williams Park Zoo. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now live from Providence with a preview. Amanda? Yeah, hey Mike, we are at the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular opening night here. You'll see there are thousands of pumpkins behind me, but no people just yet. That's because doors open don't open until 6 o'clock. But you know who is here? Stacy Johnson, Executive Director of the park. Stacy, thanks for joining us. Thanks, man. It's great to be here. Now, I know you've done some counting. Just how many pumpkins are here this year? So I counted the ones behind us, and there are only 60. But there are actually about 5,000 more on the trail. It's a big bunch of pumpkins. And they're not just on the ground. I mean, if you look up above us, they're up in the trees, too. It's amazing. Tell me, every year you have a different theme. Last year it was TV. Yep. You're hinting at this year's theme with your tie. Yep, it's see the world with wanderlust. So we're exploring the whole world. And there's a, there's a whole bunch of different things out there. Geographic, wildlife, um, mysterious creatures, modes of travel. I was looking at a, at a pumpkin just a few minutes ago that has a, a train like from the Transcontinental Railroad on it. Amazing. Tell me when people walk through, what will they see? So what they're going to do is they're going to experience this wonderful trail that has, you know, all the all the, the beautiful greenery and the lush park like setting and, the, and our wetlands completely surrounded by all these artistically carved jack-o'-lanterns. Some of them are whimsical, some of them are scary, some of them are funny, uh, but but the attention to detail and the, and the artistic quality of these pumpkins just will blow you away. How many people are you expecting this year? We're, we targeted about 130,000, but if the weather stays good, we hope it's a lot more than that because it's a really fun way to spend the evening and, and sort of celebrate the holiday. You had quite a record number last year. We did. We hit over 170,000 last year, so we're hoping, to, we're hoping to reach that again this time. Stacy Johnson, thank you for joining us. Appreciate thank you. it. It's a great to be here. Let's go have some fun. Yes. If you are at home wanting to have some fun down here, buy your tickets online. You will not be able to purchase them at the door. Buy your tickets online. This is a rain or shine event. Doors open at 6 o'clock, and the last person in the door is at 10 o'clock. This whole thing wraps up at 1030 each night. Live in Providence, Amanda Pitts, 12 News. October is almost here, and that means Roger Williams Park Zoo is filled with thousands of creatively carved pumpkins. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts got an early look at what this year's Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular has in store. It is opening night here at the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular at Roger Williams Park. Joining me right now is the executive director of Roger Williams Park, Stacy Johnson. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you. We know there are thousands of pumpkins here right now. Just how many are there this year? I think there may be nearly 5,000. I was just counting the ones behind us, and I stopped at 60. Right, and that's just this, just this one fence behind us. So lots and lots and lots of pumpkins on the ground, up in the trees, everywhere you look. Now we know every year you have a different theme. Last year was TV. This year, what is the theme? I know you're hinting at it with your tie. <laughs> That's right. It's Wanderlust this year. So it's basically see the world without a passport. And the, the, the show is divided up into sections, but there are surprises all the way out. So there's some geographic things in there. There are some mysterious lands in there. Some of them may not even be on this planet. Uh, it, it's just it's exploring the world. When people walk through these paths in the coming weeks, what will they see when they take a walk? So they'll see these thousands of pumpkins. Some of them are funny, some of them are scary, some of them are, are, are whimsical. Uh, and then you'll see some really remarkable artwork on some of the major pieces, and actually quite a few of them, that, that sort of highlight those, those far off, far flung places that we want to seek our adventures. And, and the, the detail and the, and the creativity on them is just amazing. Stacey Johnson, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Let's have fun. <laughs> now, if you are watching at home and want to stop by the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, it runs through October 31st. Uh, doors open at 6 o'clock. The last entry is 10 o'clock, and things close up here at 10.30 p.m. This event is rain or shine. In Providence, I'm Amanda Pitts, 12 News.